Yo, what's up? My name is Caleb, and I just got back from this thing called the World Race. If you're watching this, you've probably heard of it in some sense. Otherwise, I don't know how you would find this video. These are my five tools to making the best out of your world race. Number one, step into uncomfortability. Grow yourself, stretch yourself. This is what this is all about. We can only grow outside of our comfort zone. So let's jump out in every single way possible. You're already going to a new culture, so that's easy. But number two, get uncomfortable with your team. Number three, get uncomfortable in ministry. Number four, get uncomfortable with life in general. Jump out there, get out the boat, please. Just show up. We don't need the next Todd White or insert preacher's name here. We need you. You have the most influence just as you are. Which leads me into number two. Be yourself, be vulnerable, be authentic. Learn how to communicate with your team. Share the good, the bad, and the ugly about everything. Because one, your opinion matters, and two, you could be wrong. If you haven't read Brene Brown's book, Daring Greatly, or any of her books, please read them or at least watch her TED Talks. Again, we want you to be you because that's where you have the most influence in the whole world. Which leads me to number three. Release your expectations. You don't need them because there's a lot of things that you cannot control in this world and it will not be pretty. Sometimes you have no control of what you eat or what your team is like or your ministry is or how hot it is outside or if it's raining. You have so many things that you don't have control over. So release those expectations. God is taking you on a specific journey just for you. I mean, I could talk for days just about my squad and my, I mean, we went to like the same exact places. We did the same ministries or different ministries and everyone had a completely unique experience. God is tailor making this experience for you. If you want to step in, trust God completely. It's going to be hard. It's going to be uncomfortable. But let me tell you, God has your best intentions in mind. I'll repeat that. God has your best intentions in mind. So get with the program. It's gonna be awesome. Number four, you gotta feed yourself. You have to feed yourself in some other way. Because again, you can't control things. The only thing you can control is yourself. Learn to discipline yourself. Learn to feed yourself good things. Input will equal output eventually. So please put that in your life and start to make changes. It doesn't have to be big changes. 1% change over time is a lot. Make today 1% better than yesterday. It is totally possible. You gotta take ownership of your mind and your heart and how you walk this thing out. You're gonna gain some new perspective on this thing and it's gonna rattle your world. Practice thankfulness for everything. Joy comes from gratitude. Be grateful because God has given you an amazing gift. And sometimes you need to stop, reflect, look around you, and take in what God is doing with your life. Look where you are. You're traveling the world. What? You got to know yourself. And that takes introspection. And that takes really digging through some of the stuff that's happened in your life. So you can really know how worthy and valuable God really sees you. And so you can see you as God sees you. Because once you know yourself, you can lead yourself. You have amazing dreams and all of this is possible if you put a little discipline in there and you put your goals and you go and you work for it and you can lead yourself to great places. And that's what the world race has set you up for. Leading yourself to amazing places. And last, but surely not least, number five. Go after Jesus. This is gonna be hard. A lot harder than you probably think. But you gotta press in and you gotta make this thing happen. The world race is kinda like real life and you gotta press in. If you want something, go get it. And I suggest you make that thing Jesus, please. Engage in ministry when you don't feel like it because it's gonna be more than you think because that is where the amazing happens The amazing happens is when you press in and you get uncomfortable and also look for Jesus all around There is ministry literally everywhere you go learn to live a lifestyle of ministry Because ministry is all around you in everything you do in the most unexpected moments You are gonna have an opportunity to share Jesus to be Jesus and to see Jesus all around you. The Spirit is doing amazing things if we look for it and if we pay attention. And that means sometimes you gotta stop and marvel at what God is doing in your life and where you are. Look where you are. You're in Cambodia or you're in Guatemala or you're wherever you are. That moment is absolutely amazing, teeming with life more abundantly than you could ever, ever imagine. So look for it. 
perfect incentive. Bonus number six, always have a stash of instant coffee around, because you're gonna need it. Those are my five tips to making the best out of your world race. I wish y'all the best of luck. Y'all are gonna do great. It's gonna be harder than you think, but guess what? All good things are. I'll see you guys later. Subscribe if you wanna see new videos. I'm gonna put new things out about what I'm thinking about the world race since I've been doing this. Like, subscribe, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you on the flip side.